Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Crisis on Infinite Earths. Today we're going to be talking about which universes and which heroes will die or survive in Crisis, the upcoming crossover this year. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So before we actually get into this video and it's been highly requested that I eventually do this video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway and just to update some of you guys who took part and contributed to me via Patreon or via GoFundMe for getting me to Comic Con, I said there's going to be giveaways. I've given away a few items. I've got a whole bunch more I'm sorting out right now. So it's going to be all sent out very soon, probably in the next week or so. But I'm currently going to be away for this weekend. So that's why I haven't officially announced any of the giveaway winners yet. But that will come in the next few days. So don't worry about that. I haven't forgotten about all of that. I bought loads of stuff from Comic Con to give to you guys who helped me just as a big thank you but for this specific video and I guess if I make any videos in the next few days if any news or anything interesting comes up I'm going to be doing a special giveaway and this giveaway is going to be for Crisis on Earth X on DVD that's out right now so I can send that ASAP so in the next few days and I'm going to be giving away choosing a few winners to win the Elseworlds crossover DVD which is going to be releasing on the 26th of August. So that's in 16 days time. So just over two weeks. I'll send a few of you guys a copy of it. So all you need to do to take part in this giveaway. And win some of the DVDs from either of the crossovers. All you need to do is follow me on Twitter. Obviously subscribe to me on YouTube. But also share my channel around. Share this video around. Whether that be through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anything like that. You guys have to do that to take part in this giveaway and so yeah it's as simple as that so please be sure to do that and let's get right into this video okay so just a recap because a lot of you guys you know have read crisis i'm presuming but some people may not have and some people may have read it a long time ago because it came out in the sort of mid 80s and you know maybe you read it like a year ago or a few years ago i read it a few years ago for the first time it's my favorite dc comic book in fact which is just very convenient that i know a lot about it but we're going to be talking about it in this video because we need the context of what happens in the comics and how many universes were destroyed and how many heroes died and you know who survived and what happened because we're going to sort of be theorizing what might happen in my opinion going into crisis the crossover on the cw okay so just a brief history so most of the golden age versions of the heroes were actually residing on what was now known as earth 2 by the time of crisis and so the silver age heroes were mainly on earth 1 which now we know is sort of like the center of the whole multiverse as they've explained in the tv show and they explained that in the comics, a lot of Earths merged into Earth-1 and Earth-1 is the center of Earth essentially. And in the Anti-Monitor's plan, played by Lamona Kagarat, who's actually playing the Monitor, who we saw last year, you know, at the end of all the seasons, but also in Elseworlds, he's going to be the Anti-Monitor. The Anti-Monitor is the main villain of Crisis on Infinite Earths in the comics, and he will be on the TV show. So he actually manipulates some of these Earths before he actually destroys them and he does that through Psycho Pyra who is actually infused with part of the Anti-Monitor's power to manipulate the heroes of specifically Earth 4, Earth S and Earth X against the rest. So manipulating them to work on their side essentially is what was happening. And so specifically talking about that we've had Earth X and Earth X was obviously a crisis on Earth X. Earth-X in the TV show was essentially a Nazi-ruled version of Earth-1, and it's if the Nazis won, essentially. And so, I don't think they're actually going to bring that back into the fold for the crossover, because, you know, maybe they will bring the Freedom Fighters, but I, you know, I really doubt that they're going to have that much space to include, you know, just some characters that popped up once. So, maybe we'll get them back, but... It's a very low possibility, but if they are going sort of comic book route, they would reintroduce FX and the Freedom Fighters 
say on the TV show would be manipulated by Psycho Pirate who should return. Okay, so then Harbinger then recruits heroes from the remaining Earths to lead an assault on the Anti-Monitor in the Antimatter universe. Using Alexander Luther Jr's powers to open a portal between the Limbo and the Antimatter universes. So essentially not those other Earths that were manipulated by Psycho Pirate, they were all sort of grouped up, all those heroes from those different Earths with Harbinger, they have essentially a cosmic meeting and then they try it and lead an assault on the anti-monitor and then eventually pariah who is actually going to be played by tom Kavanagh, so we're sort of presuming a different version of harrison wells is going to pop up in the crossover but that being pariah who is obviously harrison wells is not in the comics so this is a change however pariah tracks down the anti-monitor in the comics to his fortress and the heroes destroy a converter so this was just part of it so not right at the end and they destroyed this to destroy the last Earths, the injured Anti-Monitor retreats, and actually in that same issue, Supergirl dies. So, the last five Earths, there's only, you know, barely any of the Earths left, because by the end, many Earths died, so they got destroyed, and some Earths survived, and five Earths actually merged together into a single shared universe from the comics. So... I believe that in the TV show version, I think they're going to destroy lots of us. They've actually confirmed the opening of the crossover is going to be the destruction of various universes out there by the Anti-Monitor's hand. And so looking forward to that, seeing how they actually present it in a very nice way. But so in the TV show, I expect so they will combine a few Earths, they will, you know, merge. I think in terms of what they will actually do in terms of the Earths we've seen already, I think Earth 1 is obviously fine. I think maybe some Earths are going to merge into Earth 1. There is a high possibility, obviously, Earth 38 is going to merge into Earth 1. However, personally, I think I would like Supergirl to stay on another Earth. I don't know, I just kind of like it, like the sort of concept that they are separate so they can't just call each other every now and again in case they need help but i think the fact that you know we've got earth 2 we've got earth 3 we've seen you know earth 18 and all these other earths you know including the ones from harrison wells all these different versions i think we could see them like at least like five of them merging with earth 1 i would say earth 3 is a high candidate and I think Earth 2 is a high candidate because, you know, we've seen quite a bit of Earth 2 and a little bit of Earth 3. And we know, you know, sort of the context and the background of Earth 3 as well. And I think we will see the return of some familiar faces in terms of, you know, those Earths that we're going to revisit. So in terms of hero deaths, hundreds of characters died in Crisis on Infinite Earths in the comics. So how will they translate that into the TV show? Well, I think... Obviously, you have the sort of big characters that die, most notably Supergirl and The Flash. They die in the comics, and it just so happens our TV shows are Supergirl and The Flash. And obviously, we got that teaser with Arrow potentially dying with Oliver, you know, sacrificing himself essentially in crisis and potentially disappearing. And so there is obviously all of that that has been teased. But in the comics, hundreds of characters die, and I think with the destruction of these different universes, we'll see glimpses of these characters dying, and we will see some on-screen deaths and maybe some characters we've seen before returning, maybe someone like Jay Garrick instead of The Flash, I think that is a good choice. And I think because we have these two versions of Superman, we actually have Brandon Ralph playing a Kingdom Come version of Superman, I believe that he might die, or it could be Tyler Hoechlin's version, but I think that is less likely. So I think a version of Superman, and it's most likely Brandon Ralph, because they probably won't bring him back again after the crossover, is going to die instead of Supergirl. I think they're going to do switcheroo right there. And I think, obviously, some characters we already know, I think there is a high possibility that they will die. We will see new characters, completely new characters, who will just pop up for a minute, and they will die. And they will just be killed off as part of, you know, the Anti-Monitor succeeding with his plans and destroying these Earths, merging the Earths. And you'll see the sort of destruction that he causes when doing this crisis. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is my video on crisis and the universes and heroes that will die or survive. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Please be sure to enter the giveaway. Remember to enter, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter if you have a Twitter and share this video and share my channel around to try and get me to 100k and you will be automatically entered into the giveaway. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.